You want the experience comic culture and sales. Streaming live daily to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. So, I saw <laughs> baller with two ones. Uh, let's see. We like what 11 cent auctions. Jay, can we do that? We like 11 cent auctions as the um, as the uh, hashtag. Yes, we'll do it. All right. We're but do but don't worry about putting the uh, zero point in there. Let's just do, we like 11 auctions. No, we're not doing 11 auctions. <laughs> Steve Lipsky. Hey, everybody. Jeffrey, Nick Balucci. Nick ba 11 Lucci. God. So everybody's guessing why I'm smiling. Uh, all wrong answers. We there we go. We'll, do, we'll use Jeffrey's. There we go. All pieces today are auctions. Ruben the occasional. There you go. Ah, oh, man. I might have been smiling. Not because of this, but I might have been smiling because I got this George Perez page from Ruben's last sale, which was fantastic. I love this page. Been looking at it a lot this week. Um... And I also got this Carmine Infantino, Dennis Jenke, uh Flash page. The Trial of the Flash. Reverse Flash is alive. So, everybody, it's Friday night. Thank you for being here. You can be doing anything. The fact that you're joining us is greatly appreciated. Uh, yes, holy moly, no Amy tonight. Uh, she wanted to leave early, and I said, yes, of course, I'm going to be in trouble when I screw everything up. Uh, Christian, hey, you're here for the shadow sketch. Nice. So, um, you know, the cool thing about the ske shadow sketch is it's number 10 of 200. That's pretty cool. Uh, no, Amy, you're in trouble. Ain't that the truth? Uh, Derek, yes. I, I saw your comment. I was smiling because we hadn't started any 11 cent auctions yet. Because I had Irish eyes. There you go. Uh, Pam's Irish. So, you know, she's Irish, French, and French, Irish, and I think German. Uh, yep. Certificate of Authenticity. Um, so... Let's see. What else is everybody saying? Uh, we got 23 likes. How many people watching, though? Uh, we got 34 likes and 40 people watching. I love it. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Let's see. How does this work? All right. We got it going on. So, uh, Comics Den rocks. Ooh, what did I miss about Comics Den? I like Comics Den. They're nice guys. Angelo and his wife are fantastic. Uh, let's see. Now my chat's not working on my computer. How do you like that, Apple? Uh, Jennifer Colt will ever do a dynamite cover? It's possible, Corey. Bidding start at 15 cents. Yes, inflation. The price of bidding went up. We gotta do we gotta start at 15 cents. Uh, and then some. Uh, let's see. Guys, come on, 41 people watching, 36 likes. I hit like twice. Ruben hit like four times. We should be at uh, 45 likes at least. So, um, I don't know. Should we do a auction for the win? So, I don't know. What do we want to do tonight? I did bring some nice Luke Ross art. I'm going to fill out the form. Oh, my God. 
Oh, that's great to hear, Corey. I'm glad you got it. Yeah, let's let's click that thumbs up. Come on, guys. Let's click away. I'm in it for the do it for the Ross. Uh, Nick sent Amy home tonight. I didn't send her home. She wanted to go home, so she she was with my charming personality all week. Uh, let's see, auction the Casada. No freaking way, Marcus. That is one piece of art you will not get me to auction. All right. Let's do this. Let's start with Spectacular Spider-Man 247, page four. You got three images of Spidey at the bottom. Uh, what do we got this at, Jay? Let's 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 get it going on. So, six hundred dollar page, three hundred and fifty dollars. As you guys saw, the absolutely Amy needs to take a break more than like two hours on a Friday night too. Um, you guys saw the other night, these pages are going up in price. Anthony had a page for $900, I think, or $950. So, ooh, three likes on Facebook. Thank you, CJ. So, you know, I thought I would bring this in at a better price. You know, this is, you got Spidey at the bottom and the bottom three panels. Uh, 247, page four. Uh, Luke Ross and Dan Green. J. Jonah Jameson lies in a hospital bed after being ambushed by Jack O'Lantern last issue. And when Spider-Man swings past the hospital, he bumps into Jonah's assailant. After a short scuffle, the web slinger realizes that Mad Jack is more powerful than the old Jack O'Lantern. Several hours later, in a bizarre twist, Mad Jack's cat, Maguire, hypnotizes John Jameson and sends him on a mission to kill his father. Will this terrible day for the Jameson family ever end? I'll go 45. I said final offer. Oh, my God. Uh, too rich for me. I yield to Derek. Greetings, Shatters. Oh, my God. So, this is a great page. Alberto, these pages are going for like $800 to $1,000 now. I bring it in at $350, and that's not good enough? Jeez Louise. The love in this room. The love in this room. And by the way, I do love Jack O'Lantern as a villain. So, uh, let's see. Reminds me of old time radio. Well, I am old, Steve. I am old. So, let's see. What do we got now? We got, uh, uh, we're never satisfied. You should know that by now. Yeah, yeah, I guess I should. I guess I should. I'm foolish to think otherwise. Very foolish. So, are we really still at 36 likes with 46 people watching? Oh, okay. I think we're at 39 likes. Uh, th thank you, Michael. Uh, fireside chat with Nick. Must have been an homage to American Pie. 62. Yeah, but you wear it better. You look younger than I do. I look old. I mean, 350 work if I can pay in quarters. The parking meter broke down near me and I'm going to be in quarters. Oh, my God. You know that it will cost more for the stamp than the, than the 350, Jeffrey? All right. 248, page 17. Let's see where we're at there. MJ coming out of the shower. Jack O'Lantern. Uh, really cool page. $300. Again, you got the villain Jack O'Lantern. These pages are going up in price. I actually priced this show before Dueling Dealers on Wednesday. And while there was the temptation to increase the prices, Nick only accepts silver dollars. Uh, that's a joke only you and I get, Jim. Uh, uh, thank you, Steve. You're very kind. So anyway... You know, and again, these prices are going up. I didn't realize how much these were going up. Toss a coin to Barucci. Uh, and, well, like I said, while there was the temptation to increase the price, um, I chose not to. I chose not to. Now, this is the next issue, so let me do an undramatic reading here. 
Everyone from Maria Jameson to Dr. Kafka to the spectacular Spider-Man is trying to figure out why J. Jonah James, why John Jameson attacked his father in the hospital last issue. It might help if someone could corral Mad Jack, but no one can get a handle on him or his motives. When the web slinger searches for Jack O'Lantern again, he's ambushed by Craven and his beasts. Whoa, is Craven the Hunter back from the dead, or is this a brand new Craven? So let's see. Someone send him a pizza. There we go. Two dollar across the Delaware. Uh, fifty dollars. $50. Started at one hundred and eleven dollars, and I'll do best offer. Why are the prices going up for? Because people want to see me sweat, Neil. So I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds to see if this starts at $111. So starts at $111. We will do best offer. 25 seconds to go. Remember, there's like an eight-second lag. So I have a page with Spidey and Jay Jenna, but it's drawn, it was drawn by some. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's worth a lot more. Down to 17 seconds. And Sean Murphy comes in at $111. Great. I'm craving some Irish soda bread and beer. Uh, Mr. Red Jack, we got to do that one day. Uh, maybe you can do a trade. I am sure Nick would consider it. Steve, you tease. All right, guys. So we got $111. Can we get $121? Can we get $122? Death of Green Goblin issue. Come on, guys. $121. $122. Death of Gwen Stacy. Let's get this going. Come on. I can't afford Xavier. I can only afford Coke. So I need your help to be able to afford better stuff. Uh, we got Jeff Wedding, 125 on the shower page. All right. 125. Can we get to 150? Come on, guys. 150. This is a steal. You've got a major villain. You've got Mary Jane Watson. This is awesome. We got a minute and 30 seconds left. 130 from Jack Steele. All right. <laughs> oh my god uh make nick take a bath on it gee thanks 12501 sorry the 130 beats you but let's do at least five dollar increments at, at this point so we got a minute left come on guys can we get to 135 or 150 come on this is a fantastic page 135 dollars at least come on uh, I would love 150, but we'll do 135. And Michael Lovett said 135. Jeff Wedding said 150. All right, guys, 40 seconds left. We're at $150. Can we get to 160? Tell you what I'll do. I'll stop it at $200 if we if we get to 200. Mom just had her checkup. Ah, thank God. Glad to hear, Mr. Red Jack. You do know that Anthony's page didn't sell. No, I didn't remember that, Marcus. That is a good point. That is a good point. So, all right, we're down to 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Don't forget, there's an eight-second delay. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right. $150 to Jeff Wedding. You got a steal, Jeff. You got a steal. I mean, uh, wow. Hey, Alex, yeah. are there any other markers out there? Black. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to, before I show, thank you, sir. Before I show uh, feeling steamy and clammy, before I show more spectacular Spider-Man. Well, hold on. Let's see if this one works. You know I'm a cheap bitch. No, this works good. 
Let's not let's not use new ones. Nick is sponsored by Wawa. Only get for me the senior markers. All right. This is the best price Jim Aparo Adventure Comics I've ever had. Put Adventure Comics 461 up. What do we got this at to start signing the pages like Stanley did? Yeah, I don't think so. I have never had a Jim Aparo cover a page for from this time period, 1979, uh, for this little money. So, undramatic reading time. And while the star-crossed shade of Boston brand pursues some answers, in the bowels of the city, a pursuit of a far more desperate nature is already underway. The man's breathing is labored, and his heart thunders against his chest as if struggling to escape. Uh, yes, it's all original. Uh, Aparo actually lettered this himself. Uh, is this all from one collection? Yes, it's all from my collection. <laughs> but it is an escape quite as futile as his own. Going somewhere, Kronsky? <gasps> Please, go away. Leave me alone. What have I ever done to you that you should hunt me like an animal? You mean aside from clobbering me with a chair when you broke out of your cell? You haven't done a thing, old man. But then I'm not the one who wants you. It's Mr. Solomon. You run that on, fella. And the boss don't like folks to reject his hospitality. No, I will not go back. I will not let you put me in cage again. Old man, you don't exactly have any choice. Help, help, please, someone help me. Shut that old fool's mouth, Nick, before somebody hears it. Oh, God, the bad guy's name is Nick. How do you even get art like this? Uh <laughs> Wow, Dead Man Page, that's awesome. This is reading an episode of Dragnet. Very tempting, despite the dramatic reading. Uh, let's see. But for all intents and purposes, it appears somebody already has. Huh, something tugging at me, like the compulsion that first brought me back to the circus. Looks like Rama Kushna, ever-loving spirit of the universe, is sticking her two cents in again. And it's up to me to find out why. Even Jay is getting on the fun, and the Oscar goes to Nasty McBurrucci. Uh, Kenneth, that's really, really nice of you. Thank you. I'm riveted to, I'm riveted to tread to the next page. Fancy DC dollar page. Golf clap. Oh, my God. Let's see. Come on, Michael. You can do it. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to drop it $100 to $600. we will see if anybody is really tempted. So now this is even cheaper than the cheapest I've ever done. And it's the same piece. Look, you got a 1-6 splash at the bottom. <laughs> the final panel is a 1-6 splash. Uh, that's being overly generous, Alberto Gonzalez. Michael, remember, you're a lawyer. There's a lot of gray area in everything. If you're saying, well, DC art is not worth as much, what about Perez? Mm -hmm. Nick, do something silly. No way. So, all right. We lowered it to 600, which I think is a steal. All right. Shadow. Number one. Alex Ross, original art. Let's see. Nick, do blah, blah, blah. I love it. So many points. We're holding off until we get the Kassad at this price. You are never, ever, ever, ever getting the Kassad at this price, Marcus. I love you dearly, uh, but this is not happening. And I think I found the last play. Never mind. You and I will email. Don't drop this one in price or physically. I don't think I'm going to do either. Guys, $500, Alex Ross, original art. Certificate of Authenticity. This is the oversized certificate we put for some marquee items. Uh, we're going to get the Quesada for... No, you're not getting the Quesada. Guys, in all my life, I've only ever sold one Quesada page, and it's one that I won at an auction where I was like, eh. You know, I almost sold the Next Factor Quesada page, 
except for it was mislabeled. It was Gander Sema trying to keep cohesion with the Quesada art. And so that did not come together. Is it mint? Christian, I would say it's near mint. I, I, I'm not an expert grader. I would say 9.4 or higher. Hey, Alex, you're a grader. Come here a second. That isn't as authentic as the regular size. What condition would you call this? I'm going to take it out. Yeah, here. And just to show you guys, if you ever buy a signed or remarked or commission cover art from Dynamite, there's Alex. We made the certificate so that you can open and read the comic. I always recommend you put the hollow foil seal to the side. You don't want to get it stuck to your comic. And you can pull it out to read it. Um, it's white. I do see right there one little ding. Uh, Commander Beef says Alex. Steve Lipsky says Alex. Uh, character very simple but effective. Great price. Thank you, Marcus. So there's a COA signed by Nick Barucci. Actually, it is. Maki Poo Poo in the house. All right. We're up to. I should have waited to do the best offer. I would say this is uh, probably a 9496. Okay. Uh, can I do 400? I cannot, Christian. We cannot get any of these from Alex anymore. So um, it's limited to 200 and it's number 10. Not this Alex. This Alex. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the Alex Rose, who's talented in a different way than Alex Domsky is. Yeah, I can't draw. Yeah, but you can do other things better than most. So, Christian, I, I, I tell you what, I'll, I can't. I mean, otherwise. I'll go get you like number 186 or something. It won't be number 10. Number 10 should be a bigger premium, buddy. I listen, I would love to do it, but on this one, I gotta stay firm, buddy. You're getting number 10 of 200. Both Alex's are great, Comic Art Boston. I agree. So your call, buddy. It's um no no harm, no foul. I don't mind you asking. It's it's cool to ask. Um, you know, if you need to do a payment plan, uh, I'm happy with that. 20% down, uh, number 11 should get the premium and Christian claims it. All right, Christian, congratulations. Uh, you got one in 186. I'll have to go get it, Marcus. Uh, <laughs> I, I like 186 for a reason. Um, the reason why I like, oh, Christian, please fill out the form. It's pinned at the top. Um, I like 186 because it's, um, Life Death from X-Men by Barry Windsor Smith. Claim Christian, uh, 186 plus four is 190, which leads into, uh, Kulan Goth taking over New York and turning it into the Hyborian Age. Uh, so it's really good. Um, congrats, Christian. You really will love this. It, it's it's a stellar piece of art. All right. I've got three pieces for the win. So We'll do the DC win first. We've got Robin and Batman by Dustin Wynn from 2021, almost three years old. Hey, Salary Attica, how are you? Uh, oh, my God. 186 was the calories. Uh, don't be afraid to throw something else with that book. That I could do, Christian. That I could do. That I can do. If you pay tonight after you fill out the thing, I will throw in something here that, that I think you will like. Michael, how are you? All right. 71 people in the house. How many likes we got? We got 52 likes. Guys, if we get to 75 likes... Because Ruben hit like four times. I hit like twice. Get an extra certificate of authenticity. If we get 75 likes in the next minute and a half, I will do another best offer. 
So I will do another best offer. But between now and then, oh, my God, I love this board. So what's the price on this? The Cape of Focal Point. It is, isn't it? Dustin did a great job. And it's really, really beautiful. So a genuine pizza stain on the COA. Wow. The love I get from you guys is unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, let's uh, let's do the undramatic reading. Written by Jeff Lemire, art and cover by Dustin Wynn. Come on, guys, we're doing this for the win. What do we got this at? Oh wow! Okay. By the way, I only have two pieces of Dustin Wynn art, um, so I'm giving up one of them for you guys. All right. The legendary story of Batman and Robin has reached nearly mythic proportions. The crime frightening dynamic duel. Always one step ahead of the criminals they pursue and never meeting a case too big. This isn't that story. This is the story of young Dick Grayson, newly orphaned, struggling to find his way in the strange, difficult, dark new world. This is the story of Robin and Batman. The best-selling creative team behind the Eisner winning Descender and Descender. Um, just pretend it's Young Century. Uh, Jeff Lemire and Dustin Wynn reunite in Gotham City to tell the story of a remarkable young man learning to navigate an incredible new world. Uh, so you can oh you can hear my phone vibrating. That's funny. Uh, the vibration adds to the ambiance. Yeah, that's that's what it is, right? So, look, I've only got two pages by Dustin Wynn. This is one of them. Offering it tonight. And you will love it. It's young. It's later in his career, Dick Grayson. That's my focus. No worries, Michael. Is it J.R. Jr. telling you he has 20 covers for you? Oh, my God. Are you sure it's a phone? Uh, God, I hope it's a phone. I uh, wanted to let Nick know this art is sick. Oh, my God. Oh, God, 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 God. What do we got? 58 likes. We did not get to the 75 likes. I mean, we didn't even break 60. That's kind of insane. Although I lost, like, six people with my undramatic reading. Uh, Ruben the Funny Guy. Uh, all right, so let's see. How about Karate Kid? What do we got? Karate Kid, at? so Rick Estrada. Uh, wow, this was scripted by David Michelini as Barry Jameson. So, this is a $750 page from 1976. Oh my god, 48 years old. Whatever you do with your ambience, we don't need to know about it. Um, I'll start it off with a bang. And strikes! Instantly, the carter fills with the fury of a flood unleashed. <laughs> Ralph Macchio or William Zabka. Uh, a torrent that sweeps the calculating superhero off his feet and carries him swiftly down the spray splash passageway to a most effective and startling conclusion. Guys, you got a sixth panel splash at the top, a five and a half splash panel on the bottom right. Uh, th this is from 1976, guys. All kidding aside, it is a great page. It's from a lifetime ago. This page is almost as old as I am. Of course, I'm like 76, 77. So, okay, so this was drawn at the end of 76. It came out in 77, so 47 years old. Lots of feet, that's right. Uh, no wonder this show went from one to two hours. Um, it's uh, Rick Estrada, and it's inked by Joe Staten. Ah, Joe during his inking stage. You know what? Joe kind of overpowers Rick's face here. I can see it. So, wonderful page here. Uh, what, he's trying to catch up to you. Oh, I'm not catching up to Ruben's show. 
Uh, I, I I absolutely am not catching up to Ruben's show. Um, that that would be that would be tough. And then if I catch up to Ruben's show, then he has to catch up to my show. Then I have to catch up to his show. Uh, looks more Joe than Rick. Yeah, in the face it does. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got that we haven't gotten to? All right. So, you know what? Captain America 416. Let's do Captain America 416. This page is sick. What's your best price on the win, Robin, Nick? What did we have the win at, Jay? $600. Uh, Alberto. I will bring it down to five fifty. dollars uh, Comic Art Boston, you're claiming the Captain America, right? Uh, okay. I'm a mess. Uh, then you'll both be catching up to Karen show. Uh, oh yeah. Is this the cover? Cab the Snatcher. Comic Art Boston. You got it. So Alberto. 550. Um, it's a great page. You will love it. I don't think, um, Wynn has done any Marvel work or hardly any Marvel work. Um, so, hi, Tina, how are you? So, congratulations, Comic Art Boston. You have a great page. And, God, I mean... Thank God I didn't do an undramatic reading, then you wouldn't have bought it. This might be the only Rick Levins page I have, too. So, uh, towards painted pages, I love color. Alberto, you will love it. You will absolutely love it. So, it's strange. Uh, we haven't heard from Elias. Well, I don't think Elias is joining, and Nancy usually joins closer to 8 o'clock. Plus, I haven't gone through all the wins here. So, I have shifted to a bunch of Spidey art. It's kind of odd. I'm a DC guy, and yet I have more. I, I think I have, like, triple the Marvel art that I have of DC. Of course, that has to do with the fact that I've got, like, 25 complete John Romita Jr. books between... Uh, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, both from the 1999 series, uh, Black Panther, uh, All-Star Batman, Superman. So All-Star Batman and Superman, I've got like five complete issues to the 25 from Marvel. Wait for Nancy to do the win pages. We've been on for an hour. That's, oh my God. Ramita Jr., man. Spidey Art, where's Paul Pappas? You know, Paul has been watching the shows, but then he comes back later. The two uh, John Romita Jr. covers that I had uh, last week or two weeks ago, he actually bought one of them uh, and have a ton of DC art. Isn't that weird the way that happens sometimes? So, Infinity Abyss, number six, page 35. And while it's he's really small, you've got Spider-Man, you in a few panels, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange. Um, yeah, Thanos Infinity Abyss. Allow me to save you the embarrassment of trying. He's getting away. No! What? Our house, patio, everything back to just it was, even the tree. He must have had this in mind all along. How do I do Pip the Trolls? Love him or hate him, you've got to hand it to old purple puss. The guy's really got class, if no morals. Even fixed a cracked bedroom window. Uh, nice buys in bulk for Marvel pages, single pages for DC, DC artists crashing. So, oh my God, no. Uh, Pip on the bottom, no, 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 no selling crisis pages, no selling. 
it's uh he's dumping the marvel art i'm not dumping the marvel art uh so so this so this is a great page you can see uh thanos beat up bloody shirt ripped going into the portal and yeah man look you got starlin drawing spider-man dr strange and captain marvel so more ambiance uh so that's that there um let's do justice league 226 i would love to watch a show and tell uh Corey, i've done that before but we can do it again nick should take a picture one day of him with his that's a bit of an exaggeration all about stuff. So this is Luke McDonald, Justice League from, I'm sorry, Chuck Patton Justice League uh, from the Detroit area Justice League. You've got Elongated Man. What about 1,000 for the Starlin and the Karate Kid pages? Uh, about those one portfolio off. Uh, you guys are crazy. What I have, um, what I have the, what I have. So the, okay, the, I know the, I had the, one at seven fifty. Yeah, the uh, Karate Kid page is at four hundred. Oh yeah, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'll do that. I'll do that. So, um, so. So it's the Karate Kid Love It combo. Mike, what I'm going to do is, uh, okay, hey, just tell me individually what they are. <laughs> Not yet. How much? How much was the Karate Kid? Okay, the Karate Kid was four hundred. All right, and and the the Thanos right, was so, seven fifty. All right, so. I'll do. I'll call it the Karate Kid at three fifty and the Thanos at six fifty, and that'll make it easier for Amy. Otherwise, she's going to kill me. All right, guys, two hundred dollars for a page from nineteen eighty six, Chuck Patton, inked by Frank McLaughlin. 1986. Let's say 1986. This was drawn in 1983. So uh, Amy is the boss. Take that. She's awesome. She's amazing. She's the boss. So, all right. We'll do this right now, real quick. Elongated man. Yep. Did I not say that? A tourist. We love to have visitors to our country. We make them feel very welcome. And they are so grateful. They give us all their money and all their belongings. Do not make any sudden moves. Or er, you mean like this? Yeah. What if I were to move so quickly you would spin about like pinwheels? Would that mean your order it? So there you go. You got the red tornado toe. Um, they are jinn, demons, vengeance from heaven. Run. Was that display enough? Enough to keep them up a thousand and one nights. Now that you gentlemen have limbered on, shall we press on? Let us press on as well and visit an exclusive nightclub that would put the most decadent den in America to shame. A playground for the spoiled scions of recklessly rich. At least that's its facade. What it hides back is entirely another matter. All right, 200 bucks on the JLA page. Apparently, not enough. So let's see what do we got here. Sixty-four likes. Can't get to that seventy. Can't get. I, you know, we're at sixty-four likes. We actually should be at six. We should be at seventy-four already. But hey, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do when? Hey, um, Christian, just let me know what dynamite characters you like so we throw something in you like. 
Uh, 11 cent auctions. Ay, 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 ay. What would I do with an 11 cent auction? What would I do for an 11 cent auction? All right, you know what? John Jameson trying to kill his father. J. Jonah Jameson. Spectacular Spider Man 247, page four. Oh, three more on Facebook. Thank you, CJ. All right. Two minute clock, 11 cents start. Go. That was so bad at Jelly Detroit reading that the auto workers went out on strike. We need a dynamite comics cover, Nick. You really want a dynamite comics cover? Maybe when uh, Nancy comes on. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Jeffrey. Goo beat you by a nanosecond. Uh, let's see. Sheldon Wash, $25. All right. Marcus, your 22 cents is outbid. Alberto Sheldon came in first. Uh, and then Alberto goes to 40, but Francisco goes to 50. Uh, is it Luke Ross? Yes, it's Luke Ross and Dan Green. Uh, one of these days it'll happen. That scares me, Jeffrey. Come on, Francisco's in at 50. Can we get 60? We're in at 50. Can we get 60? We got... 66 from CJ Design. All right. Can we get 75? 75. Come on, guys. Let's get to 75. Uh, too rich for me. Marcus, I have my doubts on that. Um, let's see. We got Sheldon at 70, but Mike Lovitz jumps in at 75. Jeff Wedding says, I'll do it at 100. Come on, guys. 125. Let's do 125. Let's get this up there. Come on. Nick is starting to sweat a little again. I got to stop doing these best offers. Come on, guys. 125. Marcelo Mata at 125. Can we get to 150? 150. Come on, Dan Green. 135. I'll take 135. Cut bid at 135. Can we get to 150? 150. Getting heated on the bidding, right? All right. One minute clock. Oh, my God. I feel like wedding is going to win. Uh, come on, guys. 150. Marcelo Mata 150 beats Sheldon Walsh by a nanosecond. 50 seconds to go. 50 seconds and 165 from Jeff Wedding. Can we get to 175? Come on, guys. 175. Let's get to 175. 40 seconds. EXP. We love 11 cent auctions. <laughs> Uh, 175. Come on, guys. 175. 10 more dollars. 10 more dollars. Let's get to 175. 175. Guys, we're down to 30 seconds. And Marcelo Moda says 175. Can anybody come in at $200? $200. Let's go. 30 seconds. The Spider Man panels are great, man. Uh, they're fantastic. 29, 28. Yeah, the count's going to be happy. 27, 26, $200 from Jeff Wedding. Uh, uh, Alex, yeah, you got to tune in for the whole show. Uh, 25, 24, if you'll have a white wedding. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. Come on, guys. Can we get to two and a quarter? Oh, my God. 17, 16, 15, 210. I'll take it. Uh, your minutes are actually five minutes long. Uh, 17, 16, eight second lag, guys. Uh, 15, red pants to celebrate. No, I, I needed my brown pants. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, yeah, get your bids in. If you haven't put it in by the next second, it'll be too late. Uh, minutes are 90 seconds. Start the count over again with extended bid. Like, we're not doing that on this. Uh, it has to be something expensive for me to want to do that. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, Marcelo Moto gets it at 210. Ugh. Longer, yeah.
So should we talk about Waffle House? Because I'm getting tired of selling stuff too cheaply. Uh, next slot. And fair warning, that's the term I was thinking of. Oh. Let's see. Uh, next lot. Next lot. Next lot. Uh, uh, that win is sick. Oh, God. You guys are never going to let them live it down, are you? I will say they're nice people at, at the comic den. But uh, I, it took me forever to realize what you guys were actually going with on that. Uh, let's see. La, 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 la. I actually don't have that much art tonight, guys. Uh, I'll do a Nick recap real quick before we get to the last five pages. 70 likes on YouTube. Nick is the voice of heritage. Uh, do you have any Neil and Cayman Sar? What about Waffle House? Did I miss something? Uh, I don't have that much art tonight, so uh, we might end the show at 8 15, which is relatively on time. Uh, art from the vault. Nick is an experienced auctioneer. Um, I'll go see what the dynamite cover I got. All right. Justice League, 226, 200 dollars How are we not getting this uh hit up Spencer for a real? None of this art came from Spencer. Uh let's see. That's actually what Jason D'Ambrosio said. He's like, don't you get all your art from Spencer? It's like, eh, no, Spencer doesn't have like karate kid or some of the other art, you know? Uh, so 200 you still have to bring Nancy in the show. What's on her show? Is Nancy here, Jay? Not yet. Okay. That's exactly why you're running out. Uh, running out. <laughs> oh, that's why, because I'm not buying enough from Spencer. Yeah, I keep buying uh, John Romita Jr. covers. Uh, I do love them. I do love them, so they are gorgeous. John is the most incredibly consistent, gifted artist. Uh, his career is, what, 50 years now? I mean, come on. Because uh, he started in the 70s, right? Didn't he start in the 70s? Maybe it's not 50 years, but it's darn close. Um, so $200. Okay. Um, let's do the Dustin win. Let's show the Dustin win. Uh, autographs at FloraCon for net five. Ah, oh, Hunter selling a page to the that sick guy. Oh my god! All right, so guys, this is a great page. I Alberto has first choice, but I did bring it down to five fifty. I did bring this one down. Um, oh, just seeing one thing. Okay. Uh, got two pages. My first. Oh, congratulations, Sheldon. That's great. Steve, we hear you're charging five dollars for signatures now. Uh, I'll be happy to offer five thousand. No, Michael, I love you dearly, but no way. <laughs> so, Dustin Wynn, I've got two pages by Dustin. This is painted. Uh, your review of the item should be called Nick's Nightcap. Oh, my God. So, $550. Oh, my stars and garters. Nobody wants it at $550. That is a surprise. I will say I am surprised. Uh, do you know how much longer J.R. Jr. is going to be on Spider-Man? I think two more years. I think he's going to make it at least to Amazing Spider-Man 1000. So uh, somebody win the win, right? Uh, well, did do his first character designs in 1969, the year I was born. And it wasn't me that he drew. Was that the, the Prowler, CJ? Was that the Prowler? Because I think that's a character he designed that got used in uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, let's see. To, to be, to not to be. Uh, is that a public domain song? Am I allowed to even sing it? I better not. 
Uh, let's see, Schumer, you already took a break and Carmen Tornero did at least a couple of issues. Um, well, I mean, taking the break is relative because Spider-Man comes out twice a month. Okay, I was right. It is the Prowler. All right, cool. The Ride Jr. Jr. issue 1000. Yeah, I, he has to go there. Uh, credited to the Splash. Uh, there's been a number of issues with guest penciler. Yeah, there has been because uh, as fast as John is, he's not drawing. He's, he, he, you know, drawing two issues a month. Uh, I, I have to think the art wouldn't be what he wanted it to be. Uh, but he has done most of them, yes. You know, uh, John Jr. can do like an issue and a half a month. So is Nancy here yet? Jay, because I gotta look for, um, I gotta go and look for. Uh, I can't even remember what I gotta go and look for. Dynamite. Um, oh yeah, dynamite cover. And yes, sir, she is. is. She is. Yep. We'll bring Let's her go on. bring her in. Hi, Nick. Hey, we have three pieces of art for the win tonight. Really? <laughs> Let me dust. see. Us. We got. Oh dust yeah, that one's in. beautiful. And then we have Anthony Wynn. Oh, okay, yeah. Awesome. Then we have Anthony Wynn. Wow, cool. Except for one thing. I'm an idiot. This is Leo Fernandez. <laughs> Okay. I'm just so used to Anthony Wynn saying Anthony Wynn. You know? <laughs> I'm, surprised, I'm surprised I didn't say this is Anthony Wynn. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, so, so um, what do we got tonight, Nancy? Show some books, and I'm going to go run and find some dynamite covers to keep Alberto happy. So Okay. <laughs> I didn't bring any books to show because they're still in the back room getting ready but we will have um stuff that came in in collections this week we have a lot of new product this week and a lot of like foil variants and stuff like that so it should be a fun show i hope everybody will hang in there and join us uh at nine o'clock okay nancy we're just gonna have to keep you keep you going for a bit until nick finds these covers <laughs> i guess that's all right Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> Nick's still looking. I'm here. Come on, guys. Why? There's still art here. Make it go away. Nick has too much art. Help him out. What's he out searching for? Art. Just everything? <laughs> no. uh, I think he's looking for dynamite. Uh, uh, okay. But what art do you have on your wall? Um, I have... Um... I have some portfolios um, for sale. I don't have any original pieces up here right now. I have a Justice Me League, I'm sorry, Just Machine portfolio. I have this um, this uh, Steve Fastner and Rich Larson Space Runners portfolio. Wow. It's quite lovely, all color. And I have a Paul Chadwick Concrete portfolio. Um, I have some uh, Treasury editions up there. I don't come the, in all uh, the time. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of these the other day, and they've been uh, – I think this is the last one of these from the uh, the ones from 2001. You don't see them around too often. No, I, uh, I have my Superman one, and that's staying in my collection for as long as I have it. I will never go anywhere. What is it you have? I have the, I have the uh, Superman one. Oh, there's a few different Superman. Well, that's the Superman Alex Ross one, is what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, that one. What's the uh, what's the Superman for our world? What's the Superman Alex Ross one from the early 2000s for our world? It's um, <laughs> Superman. I had one just recently, and now I can't. He's on Earth. Earth. He's, He's on, on Earth. Earth. He's on Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The ones I have Alex, up here are the older ones. I have the Superman versus Muhammad Ali, and mm. uh, I that's think, let me see. One. Have you been reading the comments? I've been trying to. Alberto's trying to convince you to sell the uh, the uh, Dustin Wynn page for two fifty. I'm not know how to convincing, but no, so I still have this one, and I have a, a Superman fun. versus Shazam, uh, and a I Superboy Legion. Nice. Was the Superman Shazam? Was that after Fawcett merged into DC? 
Yeah, this is, um, gosh, you would ask me the one that doesn't have a, it's from the 70s, like the mid 70s. Gotcha. I mean, that, that Muhammad Ali cover is so classic and so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Derek. I thought you were with us. So let's see what the other comments were. Let's make local offers on the pieces out there. Alex, all artists, 50 bucks. 11 cents on the rest. Jesus, you guys. Thank God I got back here when I did. Why? Uh, yeah. well, <laughs> the show got out of control there for a minute, Nick. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Alex might have sold everything cheap so he could leave. Nah, he didn't do that. He behaved he said, himself. <laughs> uh, all right. So here's a portfolio of art. I'm pretty sure I have some dynamite art in here. So, Alex, I might need a hand. Uh, let's see. I can what give you one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All righty. I'll see everybody at nine. Have so, a great rest of your show. We have Thanks, what, Nancy. This is Brandon Peterson, X Men. I think this is my only Brandon Peterson page. Let me put this back because, you know, somebody's just waiting to jump on the Justice League. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, no, no, Alberto, no. Is that art? Or are you just happy to see me? Yep, yep. So that's pretty cool. Isn't this, uh, what's his name's kid? I forget. Um, Sebastian Shaw's son. Yeah. So we got, we got Sebastian Shaw's son. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Kyle Baker and John Byrne. Check this out, guys. Yeah, Avengers Annual. And then I have this Doctor Strange in Namor by John Byrne. That's pretty cool. Then I have Stuart Eminen. God. Fantastic Four Annual. And I have Tony Daniel Flash. Then I have Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure this is one more day. Any land art. Not here. So we got Spider-Man one more day by Quesada and Mickey. Then I have some Bill Everett Submariner. Yeah, I'm selling this. No, no, I'm just showing. <laughs> I was just saying, what are you uh, then I have Red Sonia by Mel Ruby, a page here. It's so fresh, it's still in the dealer's plastic. Uh, ooh, Sean Phillips X Men. Check it out. X Men 409. Guys, if anything, my, my tastes are probably the most eclectic you'll ever see. Uh, then I have Joe Staten, Millennium Art. Uh, Painted Red Sonia, Corey. I have some. It's fairly expensive, buddy. Um, um, ooh, Pathfinder with Tarzan and Red Sonia Conan, both by Roberto Castro. So here's two dynamite covers. Get to the splashes, please. What's uh, You got to tell me which splashes, Black Viper. Which ones? Show and no sell. Uh, we've got this fantastic four page, and I'm spacing on the name. Then we have this Jim Starling commission with all the famous characters from Warlock, Thanos, Pip, Rocket Raccoon, Captain Marvel, Groot. Uh, Jim drew this raising money for a friend who was hurt. If you're not eclectic. Uh, we've got a Vampirella number one cover by Philip Tan. We've got the Al designs by, uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, oh my God. How can I not remember? Oh, um, oh, I can't remember his name. Uh, <laughs> I've got a Hulk page by Sal Busama, Gil Kane Legends. I'm confused. This is art owned by, no, this is my art. Uh, I've got two pages by uh, Zafino. I think this is Araldo Zafino. I have two John Carter The End pages. So, so far, four, I mean, covers. So far, four covers of Dynamite. Oh, make that five. 
Jenny Frizon. I also have a little bit of uh, Derek Robertson in here. Let's see what else. What's that? Power Pack. And I'm out of art in this portfolio. Yeah, go. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just leave while you got the chance. Uh, so no rhyme or exactly. This is the no rhyme nor reason portfolio, which is most of my portfolios. Did I hear Zafina? You did. And I hope I'm right after having said that. So Alberto Gonzalez. Let's see. Oh God, this is embarrassing. So yeah, I, I, so, Pathfinder, Deja Thoris, and Sheena by Roberto Castro. Mm -hmm. What is that sticking out of the eye, Toya? It's a, um, I forget what it's called. I mean, it's, it's, it's like the heritage uh, holder. So, yeah. See? So I'm out of art. The words you never think they would ever say. Uh, can you show the frizzin? Um, yes, salary, but I'm not going to sell that. Uh, I'm happy to show it, but I'm not going to sell that. It's my only frizzin. Uh, and this is Vampirella number two. Uh Cerebus Diamondback deck sell for 20. He doesn't even bother to unpackage it. There you go. Jenny Frizzen, Vampirella number two cover. All right. So we got that. Alberto! Uh, any new Thundercats in the pipeline? I have a couple of Thundercats covers. Um, and I was wrong. I got it wrong. But... Um, Gary Brown. These are covers by Gary Brown. So, John Carter, The End by Gary Brown. I was thinking Zafino because there's a Thundercats Zafino's cover that Karim has that we're going to try and turn into a cover. Uh, Folsom, Folsom Prison Blues. I don't get that. Uh, thank you, uh, Jay. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now pull out another portfolio. No. Another day, another day. Look at this. I pull out a dynamite cover and Alberto disappears. Herbert. Oh, God, what's his last name? And I'm talking about the Project Super or the Artist. Uh, uh, today's show is like Christmas in March. Uh, let's see. All right, Alberto, you wanted a dynamite cover. Here's a dynamite cover. Yeah, they are. They they are really good. Uh, the cover with the moon is terrific, Jewish Dragons. Let me know if you seriously want one. Uh, not John Herbert. No. Oh, God. He drew uh, the Al miniseries. You know, if only I had a computer near me where I could look it up. If only I had that. Let's see. Dynamite the Al. Dynamite the Al. La 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 la. I can't believe I can't remember who it is. How much is the Castro who did the Conan cover in there? Roberto Castro did uh, Commander B keeping one the one more page. Wow, you guys are are Hubert Con Michael. I got the Hubert right. So Hubert Con Michael. If I said Hubert, I don't remember. Uh, Nick misplaced his palm pilot. Uh, Lyle, how are you? Gotta love that ambience. Yes, ambiance. Ambiance. Let's see. Where are we? Let's see. 72 people watching. Um, all right, so I'll do this in order. If you like the piece of art, do you, do you ever get the Thundercats interiors? No, because, um, Actually, Tom Fish bought, bought both issue one and two complete. 
uh, how much damage my auction bids next week are going to do. I hear you, Jewish Dragon. Um, Alberto, you got Sheena over here. I will say I paid a lot for this. This is when uh, Roberto needed money. One of the times he needed money. 800 bucks. No, the Thundercats interiors are all physical. Um, Tom Fish was like, I want to buy this. Put me in touch with the artist. Uh, so $800, Alberto. If you buy this and the win, I'll make it 13 uh, not fish bends, Tom fish, Jeffrey, just, uh, just, a, it's Tom fish guys. It's, it's F I S H. Um, so just to be clear, don't get mad at fish bends cause it's not him. Um, so let's see. Uh, you guys are still hitting the wrong fish. Uh, that series is going to be that kind in 30 people to talk about. Man, I need to... Well, you can be mad at fish pens, too, anyway. I'm just saying fish is a lousy regardless. Just Christ, you guys. All right, Alberto, what do you want to do here? 800 500 for this if you buy both. Was there any other piece of art anybody wanted to see? Uh, any other piece of art anybody wa anybody wanted to re-see? Uh, what issue is the dynamite cover? Sheldon, this is from Pathfinder, Deja Thoris. These were one shots, um, but it had multiple characters, and this has Sheena. Let's see. I'm not selling any of my Quesada covers, no. Alberto, you're killing me. You're killing me. 1250 Zell. All right? 1250 Zell. You say yes, we got a done deal. 1250 Zell. So, and I am taking a loss on the Pathfinder because, like I said, uh, Roberto needed money. Yeah, he's killing me softly. Was it Detective Fish from Barney Metal? Yeah, it was. Uh, you're curious on the one more day page. All right, we got a pair. All right, so I'm going to do Alberto 500. And Alberto 750. All right. We went out of time for the Casada pages. Now I'm going to show the Casada pages. Um, let me show. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get to the other two spectacular Spider-Man pages. Uh, yes, you bought two DC pages. Uh, I'm going to get to the spectacular Spider-Man pages, and then I'll get to the Anthony Wynn Wolverine. So, and then I'll do the Casadas. All right. It, it, was there anything else in the portfolio anybody wanted to see? All right. So Spider-Man 248, Spectacular Spider-Man 248, Luke Ross, Dan Green, um, Batman crossover. Just kidding. No Batman here. Uh, there. No, we don't have 51 minutes. Uh, what do we got this at, Jay? Is that page 19? Yes, sir. That what is it three hundred dollars. Uh all right, three hundred dollars. Detective Philip K. Philfish. No, I'm not pulling another random portfolio. Uh we need to do the giveaway. We're not doing a giveaway of a Casada page. So that one's three hundred. Put this all right so um uh, and michael six panel splash so yeah 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 six panel splash. all right what did michael want to see and the doctor strange pages um michael if you're talking about i sold the starlin oh 
that that sorry, uh, Michael, those are not for sale. Um, it's it's um, it's Doctor Strange and Namor. That's not for sale. And look, I mean, listen, Starlin was helping a friend raise money. Okay, the other one. Uh, let's see. Talking about this. Let me take Jim Starlin's address off. So, five years ago, Jim Starlin was raising money to help a friend who fell off a ladder. Um, I paid 6000 for this. If you want it, make me an offer. If you want it, make me an offer. I paid 6000 for this in 2017. Uh, so without showing Jim Starlin's address, he sent it registered mail, as you can see, March 17th, 2017. Michael, just make me an offer. Make me a fair offer. James Seagull, no. How much for Starlin's address? No. Um, so it's a great, oh yeah, I forgot. There's no image of it. It's a great piece of art. All of his classic, well-known characters and characters he created. Um, I forgot the Silver Surfer's on here, too. So, make me a fair offer. And you can put 20% down and pay uh, the rest within you know, 30, 60, 90 days. I have no problem with that. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit less attached to this because it was to help Jim's friend. So, oh, no worries, man. No worries. If it's too much, it's too much. I get it. And uh, it's a no pressure. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Does Starlin still live at that address? Uh, actually, Murdoch, that's a good point. I don't think he does. Actually, I think he sold that house. So... That would be funny. I could sell this and say, here's Jim Starlin's address. And you go there and people are like, Starlin sold this house three years ago when he moved to L.A. Uh, how much for Nick's phone number? Oh, my God. All right. Spectacular Spider-Man 248, page 22. This is a sick page. Sorry. You guys are bad. What do we got this at? $400. And Marcus is right. The page didn't sell, but Anthony had a Luke Ross page from Spectacular Spider-Man for nine fifty. It did not sell. It did not. Uh, Alberto, don't do that. Don't, uh, Michael, don't do that. Don't, don't, no. Both of you, no. Great. And no. And what better way for you to do it than for me to say no? God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> If I had a brain, if I only had a brain. Uh, come on, guys. Let's hit some more likes. Let's get to this contest. How do you get all of these? Uh, I bought them over the years. Actually, I paid a lot for these. This is, you know, Dan Green was at New York Comic Con in 2019, I think. And you could only buy from him. What's my favorite piece? Uh, it's not like anybody can leave a voicemail. <laughs> Have an 11 in it. No, it doesn't. Um, my voicemail hasn't worked in four years. Um, so Dan Green was at his artist table, and you had to bring cash, and everything was priced above market. Um, I, I mean, like, literally, he had, like, one guy. It, it was a bad situation. He had one guy who didn't have cash who ran to the ATM machine for Wolverine Sylvester page. And when they came back with the money, Dan quitted him. He then said he wanted more money. So Nick will give it out. I have Starlin Nick's numbers. Take, oh, God. Uh, I already know Nick's number. <laughs> Lots of luck. So anyway, so that's where I got the Dan Green inked pages. So the Luke Ross Dan Green. So this is great. It's got Jack O'Lantern. I mean, just like the Sanctum Sanctorum in Manhattan. Just by mix a couple of coats if you remember. Oh my God. All right. So, Anthony Wynn, Wolverine. 
Ronald, how are you, sir? So, Wolverine. Wait, I'm doing this for 300? Wow. All right. Well, there is no Wolverine on it, so. But still. You know, the funny thing is I didn't get a receipt. But if you want Dan Green's old phone number. Let me do this. Anyway, it's got a phone number here. Um, so, Wolverine 108, page 12, $300. Is that why the prices went up? Uh, dude, let me let me just tell you. Uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was a shame because this guy, I think he went and got like $3,000 cash from the ATM machine because Dan would only take cash. And when he came back, Dan said, oh, yeah, you know what? I should actually sell this for $4,000. I, I felt bad for the guy. I really felt bad for him. Uh, so, well, uh, Jeffrey, keep in mind one thing. Dan Green is actually no longer with us. He uh, passed away last year. So, um, great anchor. Yeah, just, I mean, my favorite is him King John Wayne So, but he's inked a lot of great people. Um, all right. All right. These are going to be expensive. Uh, that's a cool line to use. These are going to be expensive. They were expensive when I got them. Heritage has never had a Ninjak page by Joe Quesada and Jimmy Palmiotti. Uh, before you show the price... The only thing they ever had was the cover by Joe Quesada and Jimmy Palmiotti. I think the Ninjak number zero, and it sold for $66,000. Uh, it's Jay tonight, Ronald. It's Jay. Um, so this is, this is going to be pricey. Um, Ninjak number one, page 22. This is the overlay. That, yeah. So, all right, pop up the price. So, $7,500, uh, $7,500, exact mint. So, this is an awesome page. Yeah, sick. I knew you were going to say that. Um there's almost no ninjack art out there. Bill Cox actually put up a piece of ninjack art for sale. And before I had a chance to buy it, somebody else bought it. Uh, I am not, no, Alberto, no bidding. No, 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 no. This is Joe Quesada, Jimmy Palmiotti, 1995. Um, I mean, you can see it clearly there, but I mean, look at that. Good night, Ken. Kenneth. It's great to thank you for stopping by. I mean, this is a fantastic action page. So, uh, Ninja number one, page 24. And then we have Ninja number three. Keep in mind, Joe Kissad and Jimmy Palmiotti only did three issues of Ninja. That's it. Only three. Um, check it out. All the word balloons fell. Um, how much is this, Jay? 6000 One more thumbs up if you haven't. Oh, we're at 79 thumbs up. Nice. Um, come on, guys. Uh, let's, let's get four more thumbs up. 83, the year that... Uh, that uh, Electra was killed. So, again, guys, there's been hardly any Joe Quesada, Jimmy Palmiotti, Ninja art that's been for sale. Uh, Bill Cox put up one page, and he put it up too cheap, and it got snatched like that. Um, I was jumping on it. 
Um, I once had a dream of putting these books together, and that dream is crazy. Uh, we know you don't really mean no when you say no auction. Uh, yeah, Ninjak is an awesome character, especially by Kasada and Palmiati. So, again, this is, no, it's at a premium. And Joe Q up is, art is only going up. I mean, you know, he's uh, not doing as much art. This is a sweet spot for a lot of people. And, yeah. So, all right, let's, hey, Ian saying, how are you? Ian, actually, you missed something. I know you'll appreciate this, so I'll show you. Um, I already made the offer to one person, so uh, if I can make the offer to one person. So, Ian, I uh, don't even know what Ninjak is. I thought it was a typo. Yeah, Ninjak was during the heyday of Valiant. Um, when Valiant had launched, you know, they started off with Nintendo comics and wrestling comics, and then they got the gold key characters, and then they created their own characters. So, but Ian, yeah, check this out. Jim Starlin Commission 2017. Yeah, it is a shame, Jewish Dragons. So, 2017. If you're interested, let me know. Um, Jim was raising money for a friend who fell off a ladder. And I was the high bidder. Um, so he did his own like little private auction. And let's see. No, guys, you know what's crazy? Uh... This is crazy. Um, I, uh, God, this is insane. I shouldn't even say this. Um, I was thinking about buying some Gary Brown art because I thought I didn't have Gary Brown art. And now I find, uh, Steve, I paid $5,000 for it in 2017. So it made me a fair offer. Uh, the reason why it went for so much is because Jim was raising money for a friend of his who um, had had fallen off a ladder and he wanted to help him, which was really, um, yeah. Hold on. Pam's texting me about eating. Um, hold on. I'm going to do it easy. Uh, do you want to bring some food here and we'll eat at my office? Nobody else is here. Everybody left. There we go. Great looking pea, sadly out of money. Don't worry about it, Ian. It's all good. I fully get it. Um, uh, let's see. Do you limit like Savage? To... Sorry, just want to know what the price is. No worries, man. Pizza. Yeah, I like pizza. Roll here. We can watch you both have dinner. I don't think Pam would like that. All right. So, we did Anthony win. All right. Let's do the X Factor uh, by um, by uh, Leo Fernandez. How much is this, Jay? X Factor 142 with Sabretooth. Uh, pretty cool $600. page. $600. There we go. Uh, do an eating stream. They're big in Korea. Yeah, but I'm not in Korea. So, you ever get any Doc Savage art? I do have some Doc Savage art. Well, um, not for sale. Uh, let's see. Let's see, do not say anything different. Yeah, no, do an eating stream. Kapow Comics. Hey, hey, Robert Quiano. I have not seen you in a while. All right, we'll do a recap. And then the giveaway. So, um, yeah. Oof. I don't even know what the price the one more day at. Hmm. 
Now, yeah, one piece of dynamite art in this show is enough. Uh, call Bob Layton, right? Uh, all right, so recap Spectacular Spider Man 248, page 19, Luke Ross and Dan Green. Uh, the uh, the 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 almost crossover with lots of bats. Three hundred dollars. If someone were to send one over, uh, that's there. You go, Nancy. You got the right idea. So we got that. All right. We've got um, Spectacular Spider Man two forty eight. How much is that, Jay? Page twenty two. Uh, $400. Let's start at 11 cents. No, Ilya. No. Um, JLA 226 by Chuck Patton. What do we got this at? Oh, that's what I'm figuring it out. Hey, hey, how are you? I don't think I've ever seen you here. Please hit that thumbs up if you haven't. Are the Vampirella statues? What about the Everett Subby page? Um, no, the Everett Subby page is not for sale. But if you want to email me about the uh, Vampirella statues, let me know. Uh, let's see. All right, so two hundred dollars for this, uh, like they do with storage lockers and stuff. No, you guys, you're not going to pressure me into that. The answer is no, absolutely, positively not. I am not going to do it. All right. Um, Wolverine 108, what do we got this at? Excuse me. Guys, 300 bucks. 300. Then we have X Factor 142. What is this at? My pleasure, Robert. Uh, Leo Fernandez. There's very little Leo Fernandez art out there. So, um, then we have the Ninjak pages. Um, what do we got on the Ninjak pages? We have, yep, number. The, by the way, this is issue one. So, issue one, page twenty-two. Uh, said no to my genius idea. Uh, and then issue three. Let's show issue three. Let's see what Pam says. That wasn't her, somebody else. Uh, let's see. Yes. I will say it is a genius idea for everybody else except me. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see what I can do here. Jesus. No, not the Flash, not the Demon, not the Vampirella, not the Boys. All right. I don't know what year this is from. I got to look at the back. Oh, for a grab bag of art. Ah... Uh, doesn't say the year. If anybody wants to look up Hulk and Power Pack number one, when this came out, this was should the Sonya page look cool? So, all right, let me find the Sonya page. Let's see. La, 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 okay. Oh, guys, you're going to kill me. I didn't, let's see, the call was coming from inside the house. Thank you. 
you just cra scared the crap out of me. All right, guys, I really got to look more closely when it comes to my art. Um, is this the Red Sonia you were talking about that you wanted to see? Because here's a cover to Red Sonia Conan, and I have a second cover to Red Sonia Conan. One was behind the other. I didn't even realize. So, uh, oh, how was Galaxy Con? So, there you go. Uh, let's see. You're not selling the art in the portfolio. Um, I, I, bloop, bloop, bloop. That's all, folks. Um, I've read, I sold a few. I, I picked a few pages that I am okay selling. So, uh, but somebody, somebody wanted to, uh, there's something, somebody, oh, right. I'm looking for the other Red Sonia, right? The Red Sonia that was, let's see, it was with, where's the other Red Sonia? Oh, maybe it's over here. It wasn't in the portfolio. It was outside the portfolio with something else. There it is. Yeah, it was outside the portfolio. So I have oh, Red Sonia, number 80, page 18, Sergio Davia. Uh, the timer on point. <laughs> Oh, God. I got to take this off. Uh, I do not want to take any chances. because. So, here is the page. This is Sergio de Villa. Oh, God. All right. And this is Sergio Davia. So I have two pages. Uh, no J. Scott Campbell tonight, Owen. Sorry. So I have these two Red Sonia pages. Uh, if somebody wanted them both, Sergio Davia, who now is a superstar at Marvel, I would do the pair for $700. Uh, $700 for the pair. So, let's see, what, are we really at 90 likes? That's fantastic. We really are at 90 likes. So, we that's right, EXP, we love 11 cent auctions. So, all right, so, let's see, I don't think anybody wanted anything else. Nick, the organized, Nick, the unorganized. Uh, glad it was a good show, JC. Keep his reputation. Uh, he's not feeling threatened. Um, you guys wouldn't stick around for a longer show. Uh, so, um, you know, before we forget, Jay, why don't we show Ruben's preview for the Sunday show while we wait to see whether or not we can get 10 more likes? So, Ruben has an honest talk about collectibles and their worth with friend and co-host from Pop Sequentialism, Matt Kennedy. Uh, and it is Sunday at 8 o'clock. There are no football games. So, uh, and the link is in the chat now. And let's see what I fall behind on. I can't keep Miss Pan waiting all night for dinner. That is true. Uh, Marcus, Wayne, nah, I trust this shows even. Oh, okay. I don't know what that's referring to because the chat's going too quickly. But it would be nice to have a burn piece for sale, but no worries for. Well, Sean, actually, okay. So, Sean, you. Oh, my pleasure, Ruben. Sean, you missed it a couple of weeks ago after Comic Art Con. Um, I bought from Steve Lipsky a Superman burn page for $850, and I put it here. I was trying to convince Alberto to buy it. I am not doing anything this Sunday. I can make it nice. So uh, 
So I bought it for eight fifty from Steve Lipsky. I was trying to convince Alberto to buy it. He turned it down. I bought it, and then I put it up for sale for eight fifty. I'm trying to remember all of this. Uh, Alberto, Steve, am I remembering this correctly? Because sometimes I don't remember stuff right. Um. All right, we're gonna give. I'll be drinking green beer on Sunday. If we six six more lights to a hundred. Wow. Six lights to a hundred. Yeah, no worries, Sean. Uh, we we'll have burn art every once in a while. Yes, I was, and it was the right DCR. All right, so power pack. This was two hundred dollars in two thousand and seven. So we're at ninety six likes plus four on Facebook. That's awesome. Um, a very likable show. Wow, ninety eight likes. Oh, can we get two more likes to a hundred? Two more likes to a hundred. Uh, I think it's the chat, not the host. Um, two more likes to a hundred. Let's give this away. The thumbnail, right? That's what it is. So we're going to give away this Power Pack and Hulk 2007. It is a nice boomerang page. Uh, has everybody entered the contest? Let's make sure everybody's entered. Uh, and we're at 100 likes. Nice. Now, we're going to lose a like because, uh, now see, my computer says 99, but you see more than I do. Uh, all five hours of your show. Uh, Alex needs a raise. Well, let's get him to sell more, and then we can talk. Uh, get him some participation. We'll figure it out. Um so, how many people entered, Jay? So far, we have 46 entries. 46 entries out of 77 people watching. Please make sure. Maki Poo Poo. Uh, that's right, Mike. You guys are the good company. You guys make this show work well. Um, let's see. Roberto Castro is a fantastic artist. Uh, tender the giveaway if you didn't press the thumbs up. There you go, Alberto. Good point. Good point. If so you didn't press what I was yeah. trying to say earlier, Nick, because I can't type, was that Thundercats, to me, what y'all are doing right now with that book, that is going to be a book that 30 years from now, when people didn't pick up that number one, they're going to be kicking themselves in the pants. Because that series, I have not read the Energon Universe stuff yet, but right. man, what a great time to be a comics fan with these properties coming out. Thundercats was, has been excellent. I am very fortunate that we have um, great creators on it like um, Declan and Drew. It is really, really fortunate. Great relationship with Warner Brothers. Really excited. Uh, we did lose a like somehow, uh, Jay. must have been because I opened my mouth. So, and I own Thundercats cover by Jay Lee. It will be worth I don't know about that, Alberto. That may be a little bit of a stretch. Might be a little bit of a stretch. Um, so, all right. Everybody should have entered. So, yeah, the Johnny Quest is going to be awesome, Go. Uh, trade paperback. The trade paperback will be out in like August, I think, uh, Marcus. So let's do the giveaway. I want y'all to notice this hashtag was so long, it didn't fit on the whole screen correctly. But here we go, everybody. Good luck. Pablito Clocas. Congratulations, Pablito. Ultraman Comics should be next. Uh, Lyle, that would be wonderful, but I think Marvel has that license. Um, 
So congratulations, Pablito. If we get to 100 likes, I'll do another giveaway. Can we get to 100 likes for another giveaway? We're at 98. I show 98. 101 because we're going to lose one like. If we get 101 like, which is three more likes, we'll do another giveaway. If you entered, you don't have to re-enter. All right. Pablito uh, Clocas uh, Prize Prize is shorter than giveaway So, where are we at? Did we get those last three? Did we get three more to do one more giveaway? I got 99. I know you probably have 100, but we'll lose one, which is why it says that. Like we, Pablito, Clavo, Un Clavito. The Cablito, Clavo, Pablito. Tongue twister. This is a tongue twister. Can you show I'm the I'm seeing 101 thing? likes. Are we up to 101? Let's see what I, I see. I'm seeing on, on my phone 101. I see 100, which is close enough. Can we just, if anybody did not hit like, if you can hit it one time, that would be great. Uh, Pablito, congratulations. Uh, what did I do with the Red Sonia pages? Oh, they're right here. Hundred and two. Great. That means we definitely got the hundred. So, Red Sonia, uh, 48, page 11. Red Sonia, I think this is 70. No, oh, 80, page 18. Both pages for $700. Sergio de Villa is a really good deal. So, and I think the Red Sonia 80 is from like 2009, maybe. And the 48 is probably earlier. Uh, la, la, la. Pretty sure that's 48. So, all right. Well, uh, show them. So, time for one more giveaway. I got to figure out what that's going to be. Um, what else? What else? Uh, 104 above and beyond. No worries, Corey. And you know you could do the lightweight plan 20% tonight and the rest within 30, 60, or 90 days. La la la. Let's see. They are nice. All right. I'm going to do something that's really trippy. Just one thing. Oh. Can't believe I'm doing this. But you guys got me past 100 likes. So I really don't want to do this, but. All right, guys. Dynamite published Cryptozoic Man from Brian Johnson and Walt Flanagan. This was from Comic Book Men where they pitched us their comic. We thought we liked it. We agreed to publish it. Uh, and so here's a funny story about this. Um, Kevin Smith, the, the guys from Comic Book Men, great guys, fantastic talents. Kevin was hoping that we did not agree to publish it so that he could tease them uh, on the next episode of Comic Book Men. Uh, so, um, Nick, go home, have dinner. Yeah. Uh, so, this is a double-page spread. So, we are going to give this away right now. This is Cryptozoic Man, creator-owned double-page spread. It is 
freaking gorgeous. I will not say it's sick. Uh, I'll say it's dynamite. Uh, but we got past 100 likes, so I got to do this. Uh, I do love you guys, so let's do it. Let's spin it one more time, and then I'm going to go grab dinner with Pam. I got to clean everything up for Amy. Everybody, please email me. Oh, my God, look at how many people are in there. By the way, that's my only Comic Art Boston. Hey, congratulations. Oh, my God. Comic Art Boston. By the way, next week we may have a special guest, a very, very important friend of the community. Uh, congratulations, Comic Art Boston. All right, everybody, need the art for this art show. Uh, any Hazer? I'll bring some Hazer next week. Uh, oh, oh, you're asking of Hazer. No, I'm talking to uh, Aranga about coming on the air doing commissions. So I want to help Aranga art out. He was very, very grateful after the auction at uh, OAX. And, uh, you know, to help him out, um, we're going to see if we can put him on the air. So, everybody, Friday night, thank you for being here. You can be doing anything. The fact that you're here is fantastic. You know, some of you people are from overseas where it's far later. So, thank you very much. Um, hug your loved ones. You never know. And that is, that is the most important thing to think about. Hug your loved ones. Appreciate what you have. Don't be jealous of what you don't have. Um, be kind to each other. You never know what the other person's going through. Um, pray for a lot of the war and injustice in the world to end. Um, there are a lot of people suffering. And while we all have it hard, always remember there's somebody who has it harder than you. Um, Nine o'clock tonight, Nancy McCann, Comics Unlimited. Tomorrow, Bill Cox, I think at two o'clock, has Dexter Vines. And then at 9 o'clock has Jiggy uh, and Next Comic Art. Sunday, 4.30, Fat Jack's Comic Crypt. If you can support them, that'll be great. They really have cleaned up their act. They're, they're shipping the orders right away. It would be appreciated. Um, 8 o'clock, Ruben the Collector with uh, uh, Matt. Um, um Monday, 7 o'clock, Miss Jen with her interviews. 6 o'clock, Rex and John, Comic Collectibles. Uh, 10.30, Devil's Advocate. Tuesday at 7 is in stores this week with Jen, Kyle, Jay, and sometimes special guests. 8 o'clock is Ben Hunter Comics. 10 o'clock is um, Henri. Wednesday at 5 is Dan Wickline. Uh, 7 is uh, Rex. And common collectibles, and Amy joins sometimes. Eight o'clock is Chuck Pino's uh, quiz show. Nine o'clock is 360 Comics. And then Thursday at seven o'clock, Miss Jen has What's in the Box. Eight o'clock is Geek Chat. Uh, Ten o'clock is Mog Park. And then next Friday, uh, you're stuck with me. I'm pretty sure there's a show with Jiggy. Hold on, let me look it up. Let me look it up. You know, I'm talking at a... It would it be the first time I... One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Uh, calf. Inbox. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Show me some love. Show me some love. Uh, all right. You're doing more than the inbox. Let's see what bill has there we go so i don't remember keep that perpetual smile nick what am i tom cruise and mission impossible uh oh i guess it is just dexter vines tomorrow i'm sorry i don't know why i thought there was another show so dexter vines tomorrow two o'clock not only one of the nicest guys in the hobby and one of the best talents but um well both. One of the nicest guys in the hobby and one of the best talents. So if you can tune in at 2 o'clock tomorrow to support him, that'll be great. 
Everybody, love you all. Uh, you know what you got to do, Jay, is next week have a picture of uh, from Mission Impossible 2 where uh, the bad guy has Tom Cruise's face and says, I don't know how you can smile that much. Um, who is the actor? He's supposed to be Wolverine, but then he hurt himself, and that's how you, Jackman, got the job. Um, uh, by the way, thank you for catching that, Alberto. Um, everybody, so you put a picture of him smiling and then a picture of me smiling, and everybody can say how good-looking Tom Cruise is and how ugly I am, and everybody will be happy. So, everybody, have a wonderful weekend. Happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, take some time for yourself. And, Jay, take us away. Doug Gray Scott, yes. Join the party. Head over to our link tree to find all the links for everywhere the experience is all the time. Mm-hmm.